Welcome back to another edition of video training. Uh, answers from week one's quiz avoiding collisions and road hazards. So let's get started. Question one. What does the IPDE formula stand for? The correct answer is identify, predict, decide, and execute. Let's talk about those for just a minute. The identify would mean any objects or conditions that may cause you trouble while driving. Predict what results might occur if you encounter the objects or condition. Decide which of the actions you could take to, pro to provide the least risk based upon your predictions. And then execute the action you select. So you use those four strategies while you are driving. Question two. The stopping distance of a school bus is not influenced by capacity and current load weight of the vehicle. That answer is false. Let's talk about that for a minute. Stopping distance can depend on the road and weather conditions, the weight of your vehicle and your reaction time, and the braking ability of your vehicle. So the faster you drive, the greater the stopping distance, even in ideal weather conditions. Um, and that's loaded or um, it's going to depend on if you are loaded or unloaded. So just keep that in mind. Next question. Question three. When driving 30 miles an hour in an urban setting, scan at least blank seconds ahead. Correct answer is 12 seconds ahead. That's about one block or at least through the next intersection. When driving faster, scan 20 to 30 seconds ahead, which may be about a mile or more. If you're experiencing drowsiness before your route, you would um, stop or do not drive and take a nap. If you need to stop driving due to drowsiness or fatigue, follow the same procedures you would follow if you were ill. Next question. Number five, it is illegal to operate a school bus while having an alcohol concentration of 0.04 or greater in your system. That answer is true. Just remember, do not drive a school bus if you have taken any medication that may affect your ability to operate a school bus safely, or if you have consumed any alcohol within four hours of drive time. Next question. Question number six. When entering a freeway, you must merge smoothly into the freeway traffic to prevent interrupting the flow of traffic. And always remember, when you're entering or exiting, always adjust your speed, check your mirrors, and merge safely. Next question. All right, next question. The most important thing to do on a downgrade is to, and the correct answer in this one would be, uh, control the bus speed through proper use of transmission. Although we are a um, automatic transmission and not manual transmission, we would use a manual transmission um, in this situation. All right, next question. Question eight. When approaching an intersection, you do not need to watch for pedestrians or give them the right of way. That answer is false. You always want to yield to the right of way of pedestrians. Common places to increase alertness for pedestrians on the roadway would include any intersection regardless of traffic control, uh, behind the vehicle when backing from a parked position, and when changing from stationary to moving status. Next question. Question nine. 
Low beam headlights provide light for about blank. Correct answer, 250 feet. Next question. Question 10. In some bad weather condi conditions, such as rain or ice, the total stopping this distance will blank. Correct answer would be increase dramatically. Remember to recognize and monitor the specific weather conditions and how to best cope with it. Consistently identify resulting road hazards, adjust driving speeds by slowing appropriately, and then increase your following distance behind other vehicles. Next question. Question 11, when approaching a curve. Correct answer for this one is, look ahead for warning signs indicating a safe speed to negotiate the curve. So just remember, always adjust your speed for curves in the road. Thank you. Bye-bye.